ओके हाउ टू मैनेज द इंस्टा सर्विसेस इन रेड हेट लाइन एक्स सिक्स ओके ऐम हियर ऐम गिविंग द एक्सप्लेन अबउट ओनली सिक्स वर्षन ओनली सेवन इट इज समवाट डिफरेंट ओके फर् रेड हेट लाइन एक्स सिक्स वर्षन हाउ टू मैनेज द ना ऐ विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू मैनेज द इंस्टा सर्विसेस इन द वॉइस so services uh, services are nothing but programs uh, these are also called demons which are nothing but they run continuously in the background of your os and are ready for the input or monitor the changes in your computer and respond to them so that means uh, suppose uh, suppose let us consider a service uh, http service is there so whenever uh, that that http service is always run in background of your uh, os okay so httpd is the demon for it httpd demon will always run continuously in the background okay so whenever if you give if you open browser browser and give some command suppose open google.com then it will take input and give the proper reply to it okay because it is running in the background so if you want to manage that uh, background process uh, you can do that in uh, you can manage that by using this service command and also check config command okay both are different ones i will tell one by one okay so that httpd generally the demands or services are the program that run in background continuously if you want to stop that you can do you can manage it by using this service command if you want to restart it you can do that one if you want to check the check the status of it whether it is running or not running you can do that uh, by using again that service command okay so service command as well as chk config command okay so i i will tell you the difference between both the, both of them okay first uh, these two commands uh, first command is service command what this service command will do is uh, it will control the uh, this demand uh, service okay suppose http shd okay uh, those are the services running in the background uh, it what it will do is it will control controlling means it will start it it can stop it or it can restart it okay we can check the status also okay so how it will do i will i will explain now okay but uh, if you, if you if you do the changes by using service command it it will do that temporarily only so after next reboot it doesn't uh, reflect the change suppose if 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 the service httpd is there na suppose i want to stop it just by using the command service uh, httpd stop command okay the http command will stop automatically but after next reboot uh, when we any reboot the system again the httpd will go back to it, its initial initial stage that means it will restart it will start only because uh, by using service command uh this changes will be implemented temporarily if you want to do it permanently then that will be done using check config i will i will give you the explanation if you want to do it permanently after reboot on if you want to persist the change uh, remain that change uh, you have done to do that service you use check config if you want to do it temporarily you will use that service command okay uh, i will tell you one by one the syntax the syntax for service is just service name of the service suppose if it is apache service apache means uh, web server uh, httpd the service name is the domain uh, the daemon name daemon is nothing but background process okay daemon so httpd for sh it is shd okay like that if you want to see the status simply use the command status service httpd status if you want to start the service use the command service httpd start if you want to stop it service name of the service and stop command if you want to reload it you can use this uh, okay this syntax if you want to restart it just restart at the end at the end only it will change okay if you want to do it uh, the service after reboot only use this command check config service on check config service off if you want to stop it if you want to list the services availability of service Uh, and which land level those are available you just use iphone iphone list that's enough list and that uh, service name okay uh, so 
I, I, I will show you how to do that one. Reload, uh, restart, there is a difference between both of them. Restart means it will stop and start the service. And uh, so that means uh, if HTTP service you want to restart it, what it will do is it will stop that HTTP service and restart uh, then and starts it. Uh, reload means uh, it will remain running, that HTTP service will remain running and reread the configuration files. The configuration files are uh, what are the changes that has done in configuration file? It will reread re it. Okay, of course, both are almost uh, similar, but difference is this thing you need to observe. Okay, that you will understand practice one by one. Now we'll do some practice on it. Okay, sorry. Now check. Uh, check that apache service whether uh, that running apache service is nothing but apache is nothing but web server if you want to host some web webs uh, on your uh, server the apache you need to configure apache apache for apache the background process or the demon is httpd okay or http httpd okay so httpd is the demon and I want to check the status of it. So HTTPD is stopped in my system. I haven't configured HTTPD. So that's why it is uh, giving the input like that. Okay, HTTPD is stopped. That's giving this status like that. Just check it uh, for SSHD. SSHD is the uh, demand for SSH service. So it is running. With, it is giving PID, process ID also. 250 is the open sh okay demon the package of the sh is open sh if you if you need to install this open sh package so that sh will run okay okay so that's how we can check the status of a service running in the background demon okay now http d is stopped now i want to start it service uh, I want to start it then use this command start starting HTTPD okay uh, because I haven't configured that okay of course uh, it is running look here I have started HTTPD so it is running now status check the status using this command service HTTPD status now it is running now I want to stop that HTTPD. Simply stop command. Service HTTPD stop. So stopping HTTP. Now check the status whether it was stopped or not. So HTTPD is stopped. Like that you can manage the services that, that means the uh, processes that are running in the background. We can manage. Okay. Uh, and also we can reload it. Okay, uh, just uh, I want to reload SHD. Well, already my SHD is running. Already, you know, you have seen this one. Okay, here it is running. SHD is running. Status I have checked it one. Just I am reloading it. Okay, it is reloading. Reloading means what it will do is just uh, that SHD will run in background. But it will just update the configuration file. Uh, if I use uh, restart command, look here. What it will do? It restart. That means it will stop SSHD for a while, and again it will restart. Start the SSHD. There is a difference between restart and reload command. Okay, mm, those are things you need to remember about a uh, service. Of course, the same we can do it in using slash it this command also slash it is in it in it dot d uh, httpd start okay but this will I'm sorry okay we'll see that later okay next next thing is check config. I will give that about a slash it is in it that is so there is small difference between service and slash it is in it dot I will tell you that in next session check config uh, 
check config means if you if you start or start manage the service by using service command uh, it will persist for that status only persist for the next reboot only if you do that by next reboot uh, that will auto automatically will be wiped off okay that uh, change will be okay so to make it persist for the next boot also permanently you you will use check config co command if you do that by using check config check config httpd okay on if you do that one it will do is what it will do is it will run look here check the status it is stopped why because here i have stopped the httpd in this command i haven't restarted httpd okay now it is stopped but i have on this uh, httpd using check config but it will doesn't uh, do immediately what it will do is it will do that from next boot not next boot onwards after next boot onwards it will start the httpd it will be permanent but for now this session it will don't do that clear i think you understand that one okay if you reboot the system then you will observe the change now uh, it will take some time that's why i i have i i am not want, i don't want to reboot it do that uh, practice uh, on yourself okay suppose uh, one more command uh, if you want to off it just uh, here use off command okay check config httpd off so that it will be off for the next reboot and also one more thing one more uh, command useful command check config is uh, htt pd iphone iphone list it will list look here for this demand the demand means this is a service running in background httpd is the for apache apache web server this is the demand if i use iphone iphone list command so what it will give is look here these what these all these are these are run levels you know run levels there are seven run levels in uh, red hat linux uh, linux 6 okay so the service name is httpd and in run level 0 what is run level 0 it will stop all the services so it is off run level 1 is single user mode in single user mode uh, httpd is uh, off in run level 2 it is uh, multi user mode with without nfs it is in on because why it was doing like because here i i on uh, i started this service okay of course not started i have given that status as on in three run level on four run level on five run level or six run level it is restart re reboot command init six is a reboot command so it is again now that's how you can check the uh, services in the different run levels okay one more i will give you nfs service is there nfs network file system the further the demand is just like httpd for nfs service the demand in is nfs look here nfs service okay for run level 0 it is off for run level 1 it is off single user mode nfs doesn't work for run level 2 look here okay uh, in general for these uh, four run levels if you if you start a run level by default they will be on but whereas in the second run level okay sorry it is uh, already off now just uh, on it okay now check it okay even though it is on on it doesn't on for all the run levels okay like this one two of course uh, like this only for these run levels only it, it was on okay six six one and zero it was not on if you want to on it for a particular run level then what you need to do is you need to execute this command sorry you practice it like this you check config iphone hyphen, hyphen level if you want to on this that for five run level five just on okay we will do that uh, by practice okay uh, check it here nfs is not on for uh, some of the run level just uh, uh, it is on for uh, second run level run level 2 but in general for run level 2 nfs will not be on just uh, 
I made it on. That's why it is on. Okay. In general, it is not so. Okay. So check it. Check config. The command is iPhone iPhone level. For which level I want to make it off? Two. Run level two. NFS off. Check the status now. Look here. It was off. So if you want to stop a service for a particular run level, now I have stopped this for uh, for run level two by using this command conf check config iphone iphone level for the run level two. It was off. If you want to do it for uh, multiple run levels at a time, you can do that. Uh, I want to off it for three, four, five also. So just three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Look here, it was off for all those two, three, four, five at a time. You can do that for all the run levels. Like that, you can manage the services. Okay. So, if you want to do it for the uh, temporary session, that means for the session you are logged in. Okay. For the session only, you use service command. If you do it permanently, that means after reboot, if, if you want to affect it after reboot, you, you will do this with check config command. So this this two for uh, managing services in RHL six version up to six versions only. So if you want to do that for seven version, what you need to do is instead of service, there is a command system CTL command in RHL seven version. Okay, there you need to execute that that command. Go do some googling on that one. Do some research for that. Okay, system CTL. Okay, there you don't have service and check config. You will have only system CTL. System CTL uh, instead of service, system CTL enable or disable for check config. Okay, do some research on it. Okay, 